Welcome to game two of the BSL season 15 group C finals between Dentarg and Kiko. Kiko up a match over Dentarg, upper end corner. We have Dentarg starting as the gray Protoss, bottom left. We have Kiko starting as the white Terran. This is on Eclipse, which is one of those heads up who is going to out macro whom match games where it's just the, the one where you've played it over and over and over again. And honestly, the way it looked game one, that might be Kiko as far as just standard play. However, I do feel like Eclipse is going to do a map reveal really fast. I do feel like Eclipse is third, especially when Protoss can get Dragoons in here and just back them up, back them up, back them up. It's almost an art form. I feel like Master Ray is one of those guys who I've just seen it pull it off better than really anybody, where he just, yeah, can get troops in there and seem to deny it forever. Forever. Um, otherwise, usually there's a free gas deal because it is a two-player map, and that's just something that has to be accounted for. We'll see if Kiko has adjustments to that. And we'll see what both players pull out. Otherwise, uh, I'm almost wanting, I'm almost hoping that one of these guys mixes it up a little bit, just because I'm expecting a repeat of game one otherwise. We'll have to see, though. Looks like we have a supply depot being planted to the forward location. SCV gonna want is a very pretty early SCV scout, is what I feel like here. But Kiko going to go ahead and send that SCV scout. I mean, this is Eclipse. There are opportunities for two gate all over the map. Yeah, he's going to go for the south. Looking for the, the two gate locations. Look like we're just seeing the standard gateway simulator. But critically, I want to point out there, there was no movement of probe after pylon to potentially get that gas deal. So where there's typically a fast gas deal, instead, the refinery going up. Also, I'm going to give a shout out to Eski in chat, who is echoing my sentiments exactly where it's like, Kiko fighting, but I also like Duntarg. It's hard to know who to root for in this. Cybernetic score warping in. SCV and Probe scooching across one another. But yeah, Duntarg not going for the free gas deal. So going away, let Kiko, yep, yeah, guess play his game. Kiko going ahead and checking out that natural expansion now. Going to be able to wander in. And the Probe, Oddly, kind of doing a weird flutter in the middle, wondering if Kiko was going for something creative, uh, potentially, I guess. Three SCV on gas, though. First Marine has been produced. Looks like the SCV are pulling off gas, which suggests we're going to go ahead and see the uh, one factory into expansion build. Marine also, with all of the delays... No, I take it back. The, okay, I have to assume that Kiko is thinking something potentially is up. Because this probe is coming out really, really late. I mean, he saw... Well, it depends on how aware he was, because he, he crossed it right here, right? And now that probe is just now testing that front. He has to have a sense of this. We have a pylon at the, at the uh, 6 o'clock location. Potentially, we'll see if it's proxy robo, if we're going to go proxy robo DT, if we're just going to go general proxy gateways. It looks like Citadel of a Dune plopping there. So it looks like it is potentially going to be Dark Templar on location. Let's see if Kiko is wise to this maybe even produces a vulture first out of this in the meantime he's moving scooching out with these three marines probe immediately getting wiped out and there is a preventative bunker i'm looking for an engineering bay first vulture going to be produced i'm looking for any sort of additional movement out from pico scv has in the meantime pocketed towards that third base just kind of hiding there First Dragoon's out. These Dragoon's actually on location, taking a lot of damage. And Kiko still hasn't put down that command center, so he's put down the command center now. This Vulture wandering out. Now, let's see, does the Vulture find everything? Looks like it's going to walk right into... Does it walk by, though? There we go. Moving right back, finding it. So if Kiko didn't know before, he knows now. There's the Templar Archives about halfway finished. Engineering bay in construction. And let's see if he researches mines. So machine shop's already there. Because this is a situation where I feel like he could go mines. So caught with his hand in the cookie jar. SCV wandering in. It looks like it got wiped out by something back here. It looked, there was a fight with this probe, so it was a battle. I missed it. But Kiko going to wander in, kill that probe, just in case he's thinking about recovering with the natural expansion. But seeing the lack of natural expansion here, now he knows. So recovery here from Kiko. He's going to go for Zealot Leg Speed, maybe go for a Zealot Flood to follow this up. Missile turrets being produced on the front. He does need to seal his front door to make sure that Dark Templar can't just walk by. First Siege Tank being produced. 
already sitting near the bunker to go ahead and plug things up and prevent a quick takedown and potential run by. Vulture just missed it on the minimap getting wiped out. So a single Dark Templar just to test the front, but some Zealots behind this. And so, but this is only going to be two gateways worth of units. But it is going to test, yeah, four Marines now in there. It is going to test the blockade. And so now Dentarg in a desperate situation could he, where he needs to, to breach. So maybe if he just pushes all of these units in, Kiko now, oh, this would have been the timing <laughs> to run by. There is a gap that the SCV, there are gaps that SCVs need to hold. So now it's going to come down to micromanagement versus micromanagement. Can Dentarg just puncture? Running in. Initial speed zealot really wanted to get in there. Look at him revving that engine up. Just dashing back and forth. Dentarg doesn't like what he sees. So he's going to go ahead and plop this Nexus down. Behind this, mines have been produced. Some vultures produced in the meantime. Is he going to make a shot at this? He, pr he invested a lot of troops to just sit here. It is going to allow some map control to at least box things out, but yeah, I don't know about this. Kiko, in the meantime, still sitting on one factory. Also getting his academy up. Continuing producing siege shanks, lifting up to go ahead and plant some mines down. And these vult... Yeah, the, the troops aren't fanned out to stop these vultures. Natural expand... It looks like Dentarg wants to double expand behind this. So he's just relying on the fact that Kiko's going to play a little bit more passively seeing these troops on his front door. So trying to use these as kind of a defensive, I guess, offense as your defense. Like, yeah, I could slip by and attack you any moment and I'm going to double expand behind this. We'll see if Kiko has a response. Thus far, he's just continuing to macro. He's just working on that macro lead. He isn't plopping down any additional factories. So this might be a recovery situation for Dentarg where he can go ahead and get those two Nexus up without too much trouble, and yeah, he'll probably lose this gateway in the Citadel of Dune eventually. But in the meantime, he can take that mid-game economic jump and a lead. And we haven't even seen an additional factory out here from Kiko as of yet. He might, we'll see if Kiko just is going to build towards a third or not. So, Vulture Speed now finished. The Vultures could slip out and maybe get something done at the natural expansion, because there's not, I mean, all the troops are pegged here to the front. But now Dentarg's put himself in a, situa a, blah, blah, a situation to get right back in this match. Comsat's here. Kiko just now plopping down a second factory, and it looks like yeah, he's just going to play it light, so he's going to grab that third command center and try to play from here, but Dentarg already skipped ahead. He's already on his third nexus. Vulture's now wandering out. Let's see if Kiko realizes the situation. So drops a Comsat, sees that third base already up and running. And has confirmed the situation. These troops out of position to go ahead and defend. The Dragoon's trying to peel back. There's a pylon wall right there. But they're a, this is completely open and exposed main and natural expansion. So now... Oh, just calling GG the, there. So Dentarg realizing his troops out of position. Just going to call GG. So Dentarg going to advance. So sorry, Dentarg gets eliminated from this season of BSL. Kiko is going to advance. And... Tucson also going to advance. That's sad. I wanted to see him fight it out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, we're going to move on to Group D from here. Thanks for listening.